When Lightroom 2.0 Beta came out, we took a look at the new vignetting tool that was in Lightroom 2.0 Beta. In the final release, it's been improved even more. So let's start at the beginning with what's in Lightroom 1 so we can see the difference. Now, before the vignette tool was part of the lens correction, now it's in its own vignette system. Now we could kind of tone it down, which is going to darken the edges up a little bit. We can lighten it up and adjust the midpoint so we can try and bring it in. And, and that's an okay effect. It's, it's not bad. One of the problems though is if you cropped your image at all, I'm going to go ahead and crop this in, you'll notice there's no vignetting at all. It, it's totally non-existent no matter what I do. To, to change it, I mean, you'll start to see the edges a little bit, but it's nowhere near as pronounced. And that's because the original vignetting tool was designed to solve problems with different lenses. So if you had dark edges because of a filter or a lens hood, you could lighten those up or you could darken depending on what you were trying to accomplish. Well, this is okay for lens correction, but it certainly doesn't work well for any type of artistic flair that you might want to do. So what I want to do is go down one little notch here to the post crop vignetting. And this is all about things after you've cropped. So now let's see what we can do here. We can really bring this in tight. We can really lighten up the edges. Let's pull this down so we can see some of the other effects. Adjusting the midpoint in or out. Go ahead and keep that tight and adjusting the roundness so we can kind of go all the way out to the edges and kind of just a round off the corners or we can go really round and bring it nice and tight. The other thing you can do is adjust the feathering. So if we feather all the way out, it's going to give a really nice transition between the image and the edge of the vignette. If we go the other way, we get a real hard edge. So you can see you can do some different effects with this, feather that out, you know, go right into you know, white, go right into black. If you're trying to put this on a white page, you want it to blend really well, you might want to do something like this. Just bring that nice and tight. So the post crop vignetting tool in Lightroom 2.0 is definitely the way you want to go for improving those little nuances of an image. If you want to fade it out black, fade it out white, you can do these things now where you had to really go into Photoshop in order to do this before. So that's vignetting in Lightroom 2.0.